grandma? You're not a person. You're a monster. I'm a monster. He wanted to be good. Desperately. I could see in his eyes how much he needed me. I'm afraid of me. Grandma? Hurting you or somebody else. I never wanted to hurt anyone. I have these feelings inside that I can't, I can't control. I don't want to be like this. I want to be a good person. And I know that you can help me. They were really helping me. I never could have helped you. It was foolish to try. Get out! Get out of my head! You're not real. We aren't in your head. We are right here. None of this is really real. You're alone. He's all alone. And that's not right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's all my fault. It's my fault you're alone. We know who you are. You're a psychopath. And the worst kind. You're charismatic and compelling and a pathological liar. Your allies are all dead. You failed. I failed. My father abandoned me. Father, tell me what to do. Please! Father! What do you want from me? What am I supposed to do? I'm alone. Everyone keeps saying that I'm special, that I'm the only one who can bring about the end times, but nobody gave me a fucking instruction manual. And the one person who always helped me, who I could always turn to for advice, she's gone now. I lost someone very dear to me. I lost you and I couldn't bear it. I can't imagine a new world without you by my side. The only woman who ever really understood me. Whoever really loved you. My mother tried to kill me. It was then that I made the decision to kill him. I could see him turning away. Turning to the dark side. You were attracted to the darkness? The darkness was always on the edges. But Tate, you are the darkness. It's impossible to avoid in this house. The evil. It's a force, just like any other violent. Not even I could create something as monstrous, as evil as you. It's using those trapped between this world and the next as conduit. A child born of human and spirit. A remarkable boy, destined for greatness. <laughs> will usher in the end of times. It is the essence of evil, the Antichrist. I'm the one you're waiting for. Well, before you kill me, dear believer, see me. Hail Satan! Our savior has risen! You're the one? I am. A perversion of the Immaculate Conception. He wore the perfume and did. And then I saw a beast with ten horns and seven heads rising out of the sea. And all who dwell on the earth will worship him. Father. I'm with you now. I'm gonna kill every last one of you. Ave Satanas. I've never been a fan of getting my hands dirty. But not for my father. Do you believe in the devil? I looked into his eyes. The devil is for you. He's not a little red man that grows in the tail. You really think you're in charge? You don't tell me what to do anymore. You touch me again, you will die. He can be beautiful. Because he's a fallen angel, and he used to be God's favorite. You read the book of Revelation? In heaven, there's this woman in labor howling in pain. And there's a red dragon with seven heads. And then I saw a beast with ten horns and seven heads rising out of the sea. Waiting so he can eat her baby. But the Archangel
finger Michael, he throws the dragon down to earth. From that moment on, the red dragon hates the woman. Baby? Whatever it was, it killed her. Demon, you're speaking to her. I did everything you asked. Unless you want to add another one. There can be no doubt. I'm the devil. Oh. You're the Antichrist. Is yours inches thick? Father. Does the idea of that excite you? Your body disagrees with you. I wouldn't fuck you if you were the last man on earth. It's your meanness. The desperation you see in your mouth. There's nothing I can do. No chance of mercy. I promise to be so good if I get another chance. Now why would you want to do something silly like that? You're the chosen one. And when you're chosen, you will get with the program. Or you go crazy. Anything else? You want me to dust up here? There's work to do. I need you both. For our powers? No. To prove a point. The point is, in this whole wide wicked world, the only thing you have to be afraid of